Hey guys, this is Andy from High Tower Armory, and today I have our all new MBS 95 High Point Carbine Conversion Stock. Um, this is going to turn your High Point Carbine into a bullpup, which means it's going to be about five inches shorter, and the center of uh, gravity is going to be right in the uh, palm of your hand. So we'll go over some of the features now, and I'll show you kind of what's going to be coming out for this gun stock in 2017. All right, so here on the bench, we have a 3D printed prototype of our all new MBS 95 High Point Bullpup Conversion Stock. The MBS-95 is a simple drop-in conversion, and it's going to work with all four calibers of the High Point Carbine, and that includes both the Classic and TS models. The stock will likely be offered in Black, Flat Dark Earth, OD Green, and Desert Tan, uh, but we've had other requests for colors like Gray and White, and they may make an appearance at some point as well. Uh, it just depends on what the demand for some of those other options would be. As I mentioned, this is a bullpup conversion, which means that the action of the rifle has been moved to back behind the trigger. Now this results in a rifle that's about 5 inches shorter and much better balanced since the center of gravity has been shifted forward towards the grip. One drawback to uh, moving the action to the rear of the gun though is that the ejection port is now closer to the shooter. Uh, this can be problematic for left-handed users, but the MBS-95 is fitted with a removable shell deflector and that's going to allow left-handed shooters to safely and comfortably fire this uh, stock from the left shoulder. Before I go over some of the other features of this stock, I'm going to perform a quick safety check. Uh, you can see here that I'm able to open the action uh, with the forward charging handle. It is non-reciprocating and it features a manual lock open groove and uh, that allows the bolt to be held open by rotating the handle upward and then closed just by hitting it back out of that groove. The charging handle is also ambidextrous and you can move it from either the left or the right depending on how you'd like that set up. The MBS-95 also features a full-length CNC machined aluminum optics rail that runs across the top of the stock here. And there's also a lower Picatinny rail that's also CNC machined, um, and it's integral to the disassembly process, but we'll cover that in a second. So aside from the two CNC machined uh, Picatinny rails, there are also a couple of options for accessory rails on this stock. Uh, there are three M-lock slots on each side of the stock at the 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock positions, and there's also one M-lock slot on each side at the rear of the stock, uh, for attaching QD sling cups. Aside from the options for attaching slings via M-lock, there are also three options for nylon sling webbing. Um, there's one here in the heel of the gun, uh, one here at the back of the magazine well, and there's one more at the front of this knuckle guard. Now the knuckle guard is removable, by the way, you can uh, simply remove two screws that are holding the knuckle guard on. Um, once you've removed those screws, you can pull the knuckle guard off and there will be plugs included with each kit uh, to fill the gap where the uh, knuckle guard was. So um, it'll be sealed off and, and you won't have any holes in the stock by removing it. Probably the most common question we get about this product is uh, magazine compatibility and whether or not we will be able to make the stock work with some existing off-the-shelf double stack magazine. And while this would be really cool, uh, the high point receiver just wasn't designed to feed from a double stack magazine. And uh, because of that, we can't make our design uh, simply take a, a drop-in factory existing solution. So if we were going to do that, we would have to make our own double stack magazine, which we may do at some point. We've left the magazine well wide enough on this kit to accept a double stack magazine if the opportunity ever presents itself. Uh, the magwell is actually designed with some bushings uh, included, and they will take up the space between the standard single stack mags that would come with your factory uh, high point and potentially down the road some iteration of a double stack magazine that we designed for this kit. Uh, that being said, all existing aftermarket options for the high point carbine, including the red ball sports mags if you have the 995, or a pro mag mags if you have a uh, 40 or a 45, they will all work uh, with our kit. Um, so you can use anything that is designated for the high point currently, um, but again, we may introduce something in the future if uh, demand and, and sales would reflect that that would be a, you know, a successful product. All right, now that we've covered magazines, let's move forward to the magazine release. It's actually at the top of the trigger guard, so it is forward of the magazine, and uh, it's activated just by pushing forward on the mag release. And it is ambidextrous, so you can do it from the left or the right, and by pushing forward on that, that's going to cause the magazine to drop right out of the back of the mag well. The MBS-95 has a few safety features, uh, including a passive safety on the trigger to prevent an accidental discharge if dropped or struck. Um, there's also an ambidextrous trigger blocking disc safety, and that is below the forward trigger. And uh, last but not least is the original high point safety that is still accessible from the left side of the stock, kind of in the middle of the rifle. 
This stock also features a rubberized butt pad and it has a pretty aggressive texturing to uh, make sure that you get a very stable platform when it's shouldered. With all these unique features in mind, probably one of the biggest and coolest advantages to our stock is the disassembly. If you've ever had a high point carbine before this and you've ever tried to clean it, uh, many of you know how much uh, work is involved in taking one apart. Um, the TS models have gotten better for sure, but one thing owners of the high point will appreciate is how fast this stock comes apart and how fast it reassembles. So disassembly on this stock is very simple. All I'm gonna do is pull back on this takedown latch above the trigger guard and the lower Picatinny rail is then able to cam out of the way. Uh, this camming action is actually releasing pressure on a bushing um, inside the upper portion of the stock, and this is what allows the uh, upper portion to slide off the front of the rifle. So once this upper portion is removed, all you have to do now is push the pin locks out of the way. Um, this is very similar to how they work on the TS model of the uh, high point carbine. And once those pin locks are uh, pushed out of the way into the unlock position, the pins will pop free and the receiver can be lifted out of the top of the stock. Now if you have one of the classic versions with the dual hex headed uh, pins and, uh, and nuts, you can actually use those as well. There's actually a uh, hex headed hole or pocket on the stock for one of the bolts and that'll secure one side of it. And then when you go to attach the nut to the other side, you only need to tighten from one side, unlike before where you had to hold one side still and then tighten from the other side to, to get it to work. So if you have the TS pins, it comes with the uh, these pin locks to prevent the pins from walking out on their own. Otherwise, you can use, if you have the classic model, the, uh, the double hex headed pins as well. And I'll go ahead and reassemble it here and it's just as fast as it comes apart. Uh, basically, you're just putting the rifle in from the top and putting the pins in through the side, locking them with the pin locks, and then sliding the upper uh, portion up over the top of the barrel. Now this is exactly what you'll have to do once you receive the kit. It will be pre-assembled in this configuration. You'll just have to remove your uh, rifle from the original stock and then drop it into our kit. So there it is. That's the MBS 95 high point bullpup conversion stock. At this time, we're hoping to begin delivering these sometime in late spring or early summer of 2017, but that would be our best case. Uh, there's always little surprises when you're bringing a new product to market, and uh, even though we would really like to stick to this timeline, we can't promise any specific dates uh, right now. Uh, our main focus is just delivering a quality product, and even if that means taking longer to begin selling these, that's what we're willing to do. So we appreciate you guys bearing with us. In the meantime, uh, we are trying to go as fast as we can. Right now, the current price projection for the MBS-95 is somewhere between $199 and $299. Uh, we're trying to keep that as low as we can, and a lot of that is just going to be dependent on how many we can sell. The more we can sell, the cheaper we can make them. So um, if you're interested in getting one, at this point, we aren't accepting any pre-orders. However, we are holding spots in line uh, for these kits for free. So if you're interested in getting one, all you need to do is visit our website, HightowerArmory.com. And in the bottom left-hand corner of the site, you're gonna find a text bar that you can type into for our HTA newsletter. If you type in your email address and click the little arrow to submit it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep everybody in line in the order that they signed up for that newsletter. And we're going to email uh, people in chunks the uh, different order pages that you can go to depending on which caliber and color you'd like. And then you would just follow that link. It'll take you to a secure uh, page on our site. You can place the order at that time um, and uh, we'll be shipping hopefully within you know 24 to 48 hours at that point if everything is going well. So those emails should start going out sometime towards the middle of this year. In the meantime, if you guys have any questions at all about this product or any of our others, you're always welcome to send us an email at info at hightowerarmory.com or you can call us at 763-428-4488. And for the most up-to-date info on this product and our other offerings, please like us on Facebook. Uh, we try to post new information there first, and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you guys have on there as well. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. We really appreciate your interest, and we hope to be delivering the MBS-95 to our customers very soon. So thanks again, and from all of us at HDA, safe shooting.